playing Laveau's Enrico Reed since I was a teenager and even at that early stage I appreciated the highly consistent nature of the reed, how freely it vibrated and that it gave me kind of my own voice. I first moved to Los Angeles in about 1982 and I started playing in the local clubs and that led to a lot of studio work and I have eight of my own albums out and I've been on uh, a few hundred movie soundtracks and records playing a lot of different saxophones, soprano, alto, tenor, and Barry. And right now I've been playing, I guess since last June, with Barry Mandel in Las Vegas. And I'm playing soprano, alto, and flute on that. I'll uh, continue to play live around Los Angeles and around the world. It's uh, Laveau's Medium and an old table stamp F somber mouthpiece. And I'll share with you some of my reed preparation. Uh, when I first get a new box, I take all the reeds out. I wet every one of the box with saliva thoroughly. And I'll lay them on a glass table or a mirror or just a you know, piece of glass that I have laying out. And I'll lay it uh, bark side down so the reeds don't lay flat on the glass. So they'll warp up. So I find that if I leave them on the curve side down, have everyone uh, soaking the saliva, getting you know any, if there's any imperfections or warpage out of it, then then I'll try each one, and the best ones of those bunch I'll number, and I'll set them aside, and after I go through all the reads, I'll go through these that I've selected and put aside, and I'll try go through that lineup. The best of those will go into the rotation of my regular reads in the Rico humidifier packs, and. Then, uh, then I'll break them in. In the best case scenario, I like to break them in. Sometimes they get stuck and I have to use them immediately. But I like to break them in, and then playing in the middle part of the horn, not too much altissimo, not too much of the low end, not too loud, and just kind of easy mezzo forte in the middle part of the horn, and play music on them. You know, just see how they respond. If they start breaking in, then fine. I'm not keen on working on the reeds. Uh, the Laveau's mediums for me, if they're the right strength out of the box, then they tend to be consistently good that way. And if I start, if I buy medium hards and shave them down, then that doesn't seem to work as much for me. I get, you know, for the effort that I put into doing that, I would rather try more medium reeds and, and, uh, and nurture those and try to break them in evenly. And if I break them in correctly, I do seem to have a longer period that I can use the reeds before they finally get too thin. So that's uh, that's just the way I do it. 